Hello. Hi there. So this is Robbie and uh, with me uh, there's Priyanka as well. So today we are going to talk about how we can get you onboarded to your MailChimp account. And um, something that we all ignore is, of course, when we start the account, we create our credentials, we create our list and start campaigning. But uh, something that is always ignored is getting your domains uh, verified. And uh, always remember having a verified domain uh, not only increases your uh, chances of uh, getting better opens and uh, higher level of engagement, but MailChimp, because your emails get authenticated by the different ESPs, email service providers, the, ch the deliverability rate also increases. So what does it take to really verify your domain in MailChimp? few simple steps. So if you can uh, see my screen right now, I'm in my MailChimp account. This is a blog called Simply Cynical. I'm going to set up a new uh, domain in this account right now, just for demo purposes. So let's go to accounts and verify domains. As you see, I have two domains which are verified to send emails right Morning, now. Sir. Morning. We are recording a video. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so, first step is we verify a domain. We click on verify domain. It will ask for the email. So, the domain that we are verifying is Tejasvini Foundation. .org. So, we, I enter my email address associated with that domain and I click on send verification email. So naturally, it will send, MailChimp will now send an email with a verification <coughs> code, uh, which we need to enter to verify. Let's check our email and voila, we have got a verification code now. So we just copy this code. So congratulations. Your email is verified and technically now you are allowed to start sending mass emails and campaigns via MailChimp. But do you see that uh, only the first point is ticked in green and the other one authentication is still pending. And why is this important? In layman's term, you can say that these are like signatures. They authenticate that the emails originating from MailChimp are actually coming from that particular domain. So how do we set up? Click on view setup instructions. So these are two simple records that we need to add to that particular domain in order to ensure that the email service providers, when they look up an email originating from that domain, they find the MailChimp signatures in those domains. That's, that's basically about it. So in layman's term, these are basically signatures. So what is, this is a question which I have asked so often by my clients and uh, I thought it would be worthwhile to make a video how we can get these domain, uh, how we can verify these records. So basically these two records, a CNAME record and a TXT record, these are available in every DNS manager, um, whether you register your domain from GoDaddy or Bluehost or HostGator or any of the domain <coughs> registrars. Every domain registrar provides you with a DNS manager and uh, some hosting companies which manage your DNS records, they call it a zone editor. So always remember that and this is where you need to go to add these two records. So I have registered this domain Tejasvini Foundation in GoDaddy, which as you know is the most popular service to register domains. So I'm going to log into my GoDaddy account now. Now where should I go Priyanka? Okay. I thought I'll also involve you. <laughs> okay. Then manage DNS. 
So now we add these two records. So the first record is the C name record. We copy this record name. Now we click on add. So remember, it has asked us to add a C name. So we select C name. We add the host name and it points to, we copy this value. You can, you can check one hour, half an hour. I always prefer to add custom value of 3600 seconds. Let's refresh it and see if our values have been entered. So you see it has added the C name record. Now we click on add again. Now this time we have to add a TXT record. So we copy the value and the name of the record will be the domain name itself. So always remember when you are adding a TXT record of the same domain name, you can just enter add the rate is the same thing as adding the entire domain names, uh, you know, you can just, it's a short shortcut basically, you can just add, add the rate. And I save this. So as you can see now, this is added as a TXT. And basically that's about it. Now, usually these records, they take 30 to 45 minutes to propagate. So after 30 to 45 minutes, when you log into your MailChimp account, you just click on this authenticate button and your domain verification should work. We'll check now if it is, but usually it takes 30 to 45 minutes, but sometimes it can be quicker. Let's press the authenticate button and check. Oh, it's done. So as you can see now, both are ticked. The verification is done and the authentication is complete. Now the domain contains the MailChimp signature and you can easily send campaigns with 100% delivery. So I believe that this video is helpful for you and uh, it will help you to, uh, to get your account onboarded into MailChimp. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Happy campaigning. Bye.